Deborah and James used to babysit their grandchildren almost every weekend, but that all stopped after James was accused of inappropriately touching his granddaughter. When we taped the show, there were two questions that had to be answered. Was the little girl coached, and did James molest his grandchild? Take a look at the story, and stay tuned for an update you don't want to miss. He's a great grandfather. We went fishing, we went everywhere together. He taught my kids how to swim. What I mean, happened that you believed your daughter was being sexually molested? Well, my mother was correct. Every other weekend, they would go spend the night with her. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, she would be like, I don't want to be there. I don't want to go there, Mommy. And she would go, you know, stay the day with them. But as soon as the sun fell down... Did you go in the, in the room and... I and did go in the room. She got up the night they're talking about. I went, she come to my bedroom. I took her back. She was having a nightmare. I took her back. I rubbed her shoulder. I kissed her on the cheek. I tucked her in. That's all I did. I went back to bed. Okay. Did you ever touch the little girl inappropriately? Never. Not even when bathing her. Did you fabricate the story that James molested your daughter? You answered no. Did you tell your daughter to accuse James of molesting her? You answered no. The results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Because this is what comes down. Supposedly she's been coaching her, and obviously she hasn't. She ha so how did my daughter come up with a story that involved you specifically touching yeah, her I vagina? Don't know. Yeah, how how is it? Because you made her come when she did. James <clears throat> came here. Yes, Darren, and pretty good. And took a lie detector test. Did you touch her in a sexual manner? He answered no. Did you ever have physical contact with Stephanie's daughter? for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? Prison. He answered no. The results came back the same to each question. And it came back that James told the truth. <laughs> What concerns me is the fact that he's telling the truth, you're telling the truth, that maybe somebody did do something and she's confused. And if something did happen to her, you need to refocus and find out who did do it. Because it's obviously not James. James and his family got the answers they were hoping for, but emotions were still running high. We wanted to find out what happened after the show, so we reached out for an update. I just wanted to let you know that since we had the polygraph test on James and Stephanie, everything is fine. And the next day, the following day at 11.30 at night, Stephanie drove the children here from Texas for 11 hours and stayed with us Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and left this morning, which is Sunday. And we had a great weekend. And everything is fine. We all love each other. And we are family again. I just want to say thank you. And we appreciate it.